Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Linda Ruby and I am here to share with you on how to recover when your life has been thrown upside down. Um, I'm sitting barefaced and in my pajamas, completely vulnerable and postured to have a very intimate conversation with you about recovery from major life fractures. Um, I am a mother of three. I am a mentor, a movement artist, a music enthusiast, a marrier of words, and I am a daughter of the Most High. And I sit here in this space that literally in this very moment represents the season that I've been in, um, which is a major life change and transition. Um, and it has been a process that I feel um, many of you have experienced or are experiencing or will experience. And I want to encourage you to know that recovery and healing and wholeness is for you and you will get through what you're going through right now. I suppose there are many areas that I can start with personally in my life um, because I have been through many um, tragedies, I would say. Um, but at the heart, um, I have been given the grace to persevere and survive. And I have also learned the secret of peace that surpasses understanding in the midst of the most horrific life shocks. And I'm going to share that with you tonight. Um, today's a very special day. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to upload this tonight, but I am recording it on this specific day because it's very symbolic. And it is the 7th of July in 2022. I'd like to begin by letting you know that whatever you have experienced that has brought you heartache and pain whatever has been taken from you whatever has been said in relation to you that was unjust and unfair. Whatever has been done to you, that was crushing and heartbreaking. You didn't deserve it. No one deserves 
to be mistreated in any way, shape, or form. So take that in for a moment and receive this truth that you did not deserve whatever hell you've endured. As you come across this video, you will be in a different stage. Um, and I will do my best to try and speak to every stage of recovering from the unthinkable. The first thing I'll say is we must have a spiritual anchor to help us keep our head above water because we are spiritual beings and we need to have that central part of self in a place that can pull us up and pull us out when we have been knocked down. And this is where it begins, is to recognize that you need to be spiritually anchored. Because our spirit is connected to our soul and that is the place of our thoughts, our mind, our emotions, our heart, and our will, which is where we make decisions from. And the strength of our soul is only as good as the anchor of our spirit. Because we need somewhere to draw from to get back up and recover. So once you are spiritually aligned, um, then you can begin to process what has happened to you. And we do this through our soul. When you experience any kind of trauma, It is unpredictable, actually, in terms of knowing how it's going to affect you. But trauma affects you in every level and in every way because trauma resides in the unconscious part of the mind. So we need to know that there are some aspects of what you've been through that you can connect with right away and you can recognize. And there are other places and spaces that it will require time to heal and recover from. Um, so we start with acknowledging what's happened to us. And again, this is going to be different for everyone. But I'll name a few just so that you can connect with what I'm saying. 
and you would be able to receive what I'm going to share in that space that you have been wounded. So there are various forms of trauma and there are various um, I would say depths of trauma's effect on us and also because we're all different and we all process life differently but what's the same is that when you've been wounded in a deep way you must know how to heal. Um, so different types of trauma would be um, major life changes. Um, the death of a loved one. Um, a divorce, um, any kind of abuse, whether that's mental, emotional, physical, or spiritual, um, any form of slander, um, betrayal, Um, those are the ones I'm thinking of right now, but clearly there are more. So we must acknowledge that we've been traumatized. And as I said earlier, um, some trauma is so massive and intense that you may not even be able to cognizantly recognize that you have been traumatized. It may take time to understand what's happened to you. Um, a lot of times, and I would say the majority, majority of us, have carried some some form of trauma from our youth or our childhood um, that we perhaps didn't realize and have developed coping mechanisms or trauma responses to process and handle um, what we don't understand because it's subconscious. And as I mentioned before, because trauma resides in that part of the mind, um, and also the connection that the mind has to the emotions, and also the connection that the soul has to the body, um, there are Places within that interconnection that um, takes a specialized approach to connect with so that it can be released. Um, and that is something if um, you follow my channel, She's Restored, um, that I'm going to be getting into in detail. But once you are able to acknowledge the trauma, and you're able to accept and face what's happened to you, 
you're able to name what happened to you. And I would encourage when you are able to get here, um, that you make a personal declarative connection. For example, if you went through a divorce, you would say, I have been through a divorce. And this is you vocalizing and owning what's happened to you so that you can accept it, embrace the pain, and be positioned to process it. Um, this is um, part of the five-step process. Um, I would I would call it my signature five-step process um, because this is something that um, as I was going through um, a lot during this last many years um, and I was seeking God and I was seeking his wisdom and his counsel on how to uproot some deep traumas um, and certainly recently um, he by revelation showed me how to do this um, this is also a teaching and a practice that I have and uh, that I will be sharing as well if you're interested um, but you must be ready to go through a process um, and this is probably a good place to help you assess where you are um, because there are stages to healing some things are too painful to acknowledge right away so you may be in a space where you need to run away from what happened um, or ignore it and suppress it um, but when you are ready to acknowledge because you have come to a place where you can no longer find the peace and again, those are stages and there's man many things to talk about in those stages but when you're ready to acknowledge uh, when you're sorry, my neck when you're ready to acknowledge, then you're ready to go through the process. You will, and you can, overcome whatever you've gone through. And I'm sitting here as living proof that you can, you can overcome, and you can be brave enough to get up, no matter how intense and devastating and destructive the blow against you was. Another aspect of recovery is discerning you can trust with your pain.
because when you are in a vulnerable state, it is and it can be dangerous if you're in the wrong company. So there has to be a level of discernment when it comes to the people that you are inviting into your pain by talking about what happened or seeking counsel or advice. Um, and this is something that you just have to, as best as you can, and even then, sometimes as you're healing and coming out of the darkness of what's happened, life won't be the same. The people around you might change. In fact, most of the time they do. Um, And that's part of the process of going from a broken state to a whole state. But it's important to remember to protect your mental and emotional well-being when you're recovering from a major life trauma. Um, and if you come across this video um, I am praying for you that God will bring the right people that you need to be around when you go through this process of healing and recovery. Yeah, there's this is another area. This is another area, actually, that is um, important to acknowledge because, as I said, um, before you come to the place of acknowledging and owning what's happened to you, there are stages. And some of those stages of running away and ignoring and suppressing You can find yourself compounding the trauma with unhealthy coping and unhealthy coping mechanisms. Now, whether this is um, mental emotional um, or physical like things like drug addiction or alcohol addiction um, those are ways that seem to take the pain away but in actuality you're not addressing anything um, you've gone into hiding if you are um, stuck in this space of trying to put a band-aid on um, a broken arm, as they say. So if you are there or if you have experienced that, um, you can recover from that as well. In fact, I would say that you cannot recover from one without addressing the other. If that makes sense. Um, and I would also say that 
they are to be treated simultaneously. Now, obviously, you know, everyone's different and everyone's trauma is different and um, everyone's level and stage is different. So I would encourage you to seek any kind of professional help um, if you feel like you're there or you feel like you're in a place where you are really struggling to make it from day to day. Um, but even so, you can recover and you can heal from the trauma responses, whether they're mental, emotional, or physical. Acknowledge, accept, and process. I am here to encourage you that you can overcome. You can overcome the worst, the unthinkable the unjust, the unfair, the ungodly. I will be sharing a testimony in the future, but I feel like this is a video for anyone and everyone who needs to know and be encouraged that what they went through, you can heal from. If you are seeking um, mentoring on the inner healing journey, I invite you to message me at she's restored at gmail.com. I provide one-to-one -one inner, inner healing sessions um, and I use art therapy, um, music, movement, and mixed media. So if that's something you're interested in, I invite you to send me a message. I wish you all the best and I am praying for you and know this above everything else, you are loved unconditionally and you deserve the most beautiful life.